This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network reporting from a meeting on critical care sponsored by the University of California, San Diego. Dr. Jay Doucette shared his experience as one of the clinicians who provided trauma care during the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. The athletes have, have special needs and, and uh, you know, they're very committed and motivated to compete in their events. They have a very limited time and uh, injury illness can be really devastating towards, uh, towards what they work for. So uh, an acute injury or acute problem uh, represents a, 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 significant, uh, a significant problem. So um, it uh, becomes a very uh, big issue for them. And uh, you know, if you're providing you know, patient-centered care, you're going to be very sensitive to that. The events uh, that went on, uh, I was at Whistler where most of the uh, high speed, high energy types of events like downhill, sliding, uh, including luge and bobsled uh, went on and uh, we did see quite a few more injuries from that. Luckily most of them were not serious or, or career ending, but uh, all very important because you know, Olympics is a pretty rare event and the opportunity to, to do well in Olympics is something that these athletes are really strive for. So you kind of have to be totally focused on what they need and what they don't need is, uh, uh, is uh, more time off work or more narcotics. What they need is to get better. What advice do you have for physicians who might be interested in working with Olympic athletes? How can they find out about opportunities, whether they are here in the United States or elsewhere. Well, there's there's sort of two types of physicians looking after Olympic athletes. There's uh, sports medicine doctors, and they're generally working for the U.S. Olympic teams. And uh, you can go to their website and see what's involved with that. But basically, they're they have great expertise in looking after the day-to-day -day care of the of athletes and some of the problems they encounter. Uh, and so, when an Olympics is uh, coming to uh, uh, your country or if you're able to work in the country where Olympics is being held, they'll be looking for medical volunteers, usually sometimes two or three years in advance. So if you look for those opportunities, there is an opportunity to volunteer there. It can be uh, extremely rewarding. It's sometimes very hard work, but uh, it's a fantastic uh, uh, thing to do, and uh, it uh, is one of the best things I've ever done. So I highly recommend it if you have the opportunity. For Global Medical News Network, this is Doug Brown.